cancer is one of the most common cancers diagnosed in both men and women, but many people who should get tested are not. Now new research shows home testing is also a good screening option. CBS 4's Tom Hansen has more. A new review shows at-home tests are effective for colorectal cancer screening in average risk people. The research looked at more than 30 studies on tests called FITs, which need to be done annually. There are different ways of getting screened. One of them is the colonoscopy, and that's a great choice for a lot of people. But for the people who don't want the colonoscopy, know that there are alternatives. One of those alternatives is the FIT test, and that's looking for invisible blood that's in the stool. Currently, only 65% of people who should be getting screened for colorectal cancer are getting tested. Not CBS not News not Chief not Medical not Correspondent not Dr. John LaPook is a gastroenterologist. He says the hope is access to less invasive and intimidating tests will increase screening rates. The main highlight is that FIT seems to be a pretty good test for picking up colon cancer. It's a less good test for picking up colon polyps, but it certainly beats doing nothing. With colon cancer increasing in younger people, last year the American Cancer Society began recommending that average risk adults start screening at 45, not at 50. Patrice Brown with the Colorectal Cancer Alliance reminds people to look out for symptoms, to know your risk factors such as family history, and to just get screened. Our motto is the best test is the test that gets done regardless of method. Colorectal cancer is one of the most curable types of cancer if detected early. Tom Hansen, CBS News, New York. Other risk factors for colon cancer include obesity, inactivity, smoking, and a diet high in red and processed meats. 